Hello, viewers all over the world. My name is uh, Apostle Helio Dokken. I'm coming to you live on Majestic Christian Television Network, your, your television of choice. Today we have a very powerful topic. You know, as you know, uh, it's always good that we talk about issues that are very, very relevant to the migrant women who are here in the diaspora. We want to focus on um, 1,000 days around pregnancy, and we have professionals from different school of thought who are here um, to tell us more about what to expect. Uh, as a matter of fact, these are people who have carried out a research or they are busy with their research on this and uh, they are uh, a part of project that uh, VU uh, University uh, are handling from the Katina Institute. So permit me to introduce to you this hour, our honorable guest. So from my left, we have a very seasoned Doctor, Doctor mm -hmm. Olia Van de Ham, welcome to Majesty TV. Thank you. Are Thank you happy you. to be here? I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> yes. Thank you. And uh, also, we're at the middle, we have our own Miss Phil Dahl from <laughs> Philosophy Consultancy. Phil, please. Thank you very much. Once again, I say <laughs> it openly that we appreciate you more than you know. Thank you. And we love you and uh, we, we would like you to always come by us. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, not the least anyway, but uh, we have uh, Miss Tenil uh, Cotfry. Tenil. 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 Yes. Tenil, thank you. So, you are doing your interim and. Um, My internship at yes. the Athena Institute. Yes. Yes. Thank you for being with us today. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies out there and also gentlemen, please feel free to give us a call on 027 337. 337-1610. I repeat, 337-4160. That is our telephone here on Majesty Christian Television Network. So connect with us and, uh, and, and uh, ask some questions uh, regarding to what you are about to hear. Thank you so much. So, ladies, yes. uh, tell us a little bit uh, about what this research is all about. Okay. We want to know what this what what is in all this research for us as migrant people yeah yes. very important okay we just started this uh, this very interesting research project on the thousand days around pregnancy yeah. and it's specifically for migrant women in amsterdam south Oost. Okay. and as researchers the, well the starting point was that uh, we know that there is uh, more overweight among the people in general in okay. netherlands other countries, Europe, um, all over the world. Yeah. And then we know for a fact that in large cities, this is often bigger, that we see even more overweight. Yeah. And then within cities such as Amsterdam, we yeah. see that in some uh, neighborhoods that even more overweight is there. So Amsterdam Zuidoost is one of the groups where there is more overweight. Uh, so in our research, we focus on that specific community and okay. then uh, the migrant women because we know that people who have less money to spend mm -hmm. or people who uh, are migrants that there is a bigger chance of uh, being overweight so overweight is the starting point yeah but we rather focus on something positive not the overweight but healthy lifestyle yes that is something nice to work yes. towards yes so yes. so so you are saying mm -hmm. to our audience who are viewing mm -hmm. us right now that um mm -hmm. this whole uh, mm -hmm. 1,000 days around pregnancy is focused mm -hmm. on having a healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle. Is that yes. what you are saying? Yeah. Okay. And we know uh, that these 1,000 days around pregnancy are very important uh, for the mother's health, mm -hmm. the healthy lifestyle in that phase, but also for the child's health, and which also has gives the child a better chance for a healthy life later on. Yes. So it's both beneficial for the mother, and the child, mm -hmm. and I think also the father. <laughs> so, 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 um, uh, the mm -hmm. one thousand days mm -hmm. uh, research which you are doing, uh, mm -hmm. your focus is more on the migrant women. Yes, yeah, specifically the the on migrant the migrant women. women. So, why, why, mm -hmm. why, why do you have that focus on them? Is it that mm -hmm. they are the people who are prone mm -hmm. to overweight, or what? Uh, there's two Any one of you can always okay. come in place. Yeah. Yes. I'll jump in then. 
Well, mm -hmm. as Lydia just mentioned, that some research already has been done. So there are statistics, there are numbers. And you see, especially among migrant women from the African diaspora, such yes. as Ghanaian women or Antillian, Surinamese women, they have a higher risk to be overweight or obese during pregnancy. Yeah. And what you also see is that they gain weight more quickly during the pregnancy. I think a phrase that they hear more often maybe is you're eating for two. So they gain a lot of weight <laughs> during their pregnancy when they don't need to gain all that weight. They just need to balance their lifestyle and yes. just have a healthy weight and gain weight healthy. healthy. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Miss Phil, what do you have to say regarding today's? Because uh, well, you I, uh, are an African, but you don't look like uh, a <laughs> Ghanaian. <laughs> I really have the African features, if you look in my face at least. But my body is not African exactly. enough. Exactly. <laughs> but I'm working on it. <laughs> um, well, I think it's a very important project because it's um, important for us, as uh, well African women, yeah. to be focused not only on, of course, having babies the next generation, yes. but also how to have the most healthy baby as possible. How can we... Um, uh, prevent or how can we take some precautions to have uh, as healthy as possible babies and not only at the time of choosing a good um, partner to have a healthy baby with yeah, yeah. but also even before the pregnancy what can we do to make sure our body is so healthy to to produce the best possible baby wow <laughs> wow this is awesome so 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 uh, let me come in here um, overweight can affect us having healthy babies? Yes. Expand shit then, we want to hear. Mm -hmm. Not just to not hear, because <laughs> people want to hear. <laughs> Maybe yes. Yes. How. Yeah, I can yes. tell you something mm -hmm. about Please that. Do. Um, yeah, we know that women who are heavier, who are overweight yes. or obese during yeah. pregnancy, yeah. we know that they have a higher chance for complications during giving birth. Um, and also, yeah, for giving a premature birth, miscarriage, wow. high blood pressure. So all kinds of, of problems around pregnancy, yes. uh, pregnancy, diabetes. And uh, yeah, sometimes even practical if they are very overweight, obesity, you might have problems also being transported to hospital if necessary yeah. or having uh, access to care to yeah, in terms of uh, moving yourself or being moved to the hospital. Yes. So that might even practically be uh, a consequence. And then also for the children, we know that uh, women who are overweight or obese, yeah. and if they give help, that also influences the weight of the children later on. So they might be already be heavier when they're two years old or when they're five years old, might already have a high blood pressure, for example. Really? So that is some of the, the findings that have come out in, in previous uh, previous studies. Yeah. And mm. it's focused mm. uh, more on the migrant women? Yes. Ghanaians and Nigerians? Yes, for example. And Surinamese? Yeah. Also. also. Yes. And the uh, Antillians? Also. Yeah. also. Uh, what diaspora. about Moroccans? No, we have excluded Moroccans in this particular research project. But so, we know this also is relevant for Moroccan women, but we also have to make a practical choice and we have a limited of amount of time for our research. So, yeah. so what do you think would be the reason for, for, for this uh, whole thing? Is it based on their food or what? That's what we really yes. want to find out. Yes, actually, yeah. we want to find mm. out um, how mm. how do we live, um, what, mm. uh, what are the things that we find important and... Mm. Um, what is the reason that we do have more uh, overweight yeah. than compared to, uh, for mm -hmm. instance, the Dutch people? Yes. Maybe it's our lifestyle, maybe it's our food, maybe it's a combination, yeah. or maybe it's just something cultural. Well, we actually, we don't really know that yet. Yeah. So it's a part of the research yeah. to find out how come. Exactly. Yes. I think it's worth finding out. Yeah, yeah definitely. Out because definitely, because if mm -hmm. we do find out and we can make a difference or a change or influences, mm -hmm influence it one way or the other, that yeah. will really help the children of the migrants, our diaspora. Yeah. It will help them not to be behind, but also to be uh, well coping with the rest, mm -hmm. or maybe to get ahead of the rest. Because yes. if you know where the problem mm -hmm. is, then we can tackle it and yes. change, change something about it exactly. to better it. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And if you are a mother and you are listening to this uh, broadcast, or if you are also a father, please feel free to give us a call on 0233. 74160. We are discussing on uh, 1000 days around pregnancy, and uh, we are coming out with some good facts that uh, how pregnancy or how overweight 
do uh, affect uh, uh, the lifestyle of a child. So please make sure you you, you give us a call and uh, and uh, be a part of this discussion because it might help your your wife or or help you the wife or help somebody else that you know. So don't feel shy. You may just call us and don't mention your name and then just tell us what your problems are. We have these experts, yeah. Also, even our own Phyllis, he she's also <laughs> here to at least add to what they are doing. Thank you yeah. so much. Right. So, um, what are the healthy lifestyles that can help us not to be obese? <laughs> Is that a good one? Yes, yeah, that's a good one. That's yes. a very I, difficult question. Yeah, yeah, but I think one of the most important things that play a role, I think everybody knows, is just a balanced diet. Balanced diet. A balance. So eating healthy, eating vegetables, eating fruits, plenty of fruits, and balance out the, the carbs and maybe a little bit also the proteins and also to exercise to do some cardio <laughs> once or twice a week yeah so also to keep the balance between what you're consuming and what you're burning by exercise so that mm -hmm. that's something that's very important yeah that might also be one of the problems with my uh, hypoth hypothesis because um i can imagine if you have a busy schedule you are working uh, multiple jobs yeah you don't have a high income so poverty place some kind of a role, at least somewhere. Yeah, and it's true. You 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 are tired from yes. working. Yes. So you you quickly do some groceries. You quickly cook something for a couple of days. Yes. So it's about quick score. You all want to eat, just fill your belly, and not so uh, much about balancing the proteins and carbs exactly. and, and mm. doing some kind of exercise. Yeah. No, you're tired already from exactly. working. Exactly. Very very tired. So I yeah. think it has something to do with yeah. it. With poverty. Um, yeah, oh, I think God, so. Oh God, save yeah. us from so. poverty. <laughs> really, 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 really. Yes. That's what makes it so mm -hmm. complicated, because it's very mm -hmm. easy to attack individuals and say, you are not doing healthy you're not healthy you're not behaving in a good way but it's actually a very much a social issue that is connected to the way we live the way we work and also to our community mm -hmm. so that's also our focus that we are not going to individuals and yeah. asking them why are you not healthy or mm -hmm. are you healthy we want to address it in the community yeah and what what is what's going on in your community mm -hmm. how are you of yeah, dealing with yeah, pregnancy. yeah. I, th I think what Phil mm -hmm. made mention of is very, mm -hmm. very important. Uh, poverty playing a major role in this mm -hmm. whole issue, and also the people mm -hmm. having two jobs. Yeah. You can, you can, mm -hmm. you can imagine. You know, people overworking their strength mm -hmm. and then coming back very late in the evening mm -hmm. only to rush mm -hmm. to the, uh, the, yeah. the the shops just to pick a few things, and then yeah. you know, not knowing which are the balanced uh, things mm -hmm. they're supposed to. So that plays a very a very major key. But how can that be rectified now? Yeah. How, how can we tell an average woman that is mm -hmm. watching us right now and they're having two or three jobs? Mm -hmm. How can so how can we tell them that what they are eating is could be what is affecting them? Well, I think it starts with if you have some kind of insight in your own situation, that that's at least a first step. Then yeah. you know you're more conscious about uh, what's going on in your life, how are you dealing mm. with your life. And from there on, you can make different choices if it is possible, yeah. because it's not always possible. That's why what Leah is saying, we can't go around and attacking people. Well, you're not healthy or you are too <laughs> thick, <laughs> you're obese or you're yeah. not working yeah. out. The people have their reasons for not doing what we think is healthy, yeah. Yeah. and every it's not always possible for everybody. Everybody is doing what is their best, yeah. and what we can do is first find out what are the reasons, mm -hmm. and then secondly, uh, we make some kind of analysis, mm -hmm. and then we can give them information. Yeah. And from mm -hmm. there on, if they Very have important. the choices, they can make different choices, if they have the possibilities. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's and what that, I think yeah. we, we and can And that way, start. the information and maybe interventions is more better directed at the people yeah. that we are dealing with. Yeah. So we are not just telling you have to do that, yeah. but how can this work for that person yeah. or that person? Yeah. And how can we support them to and do uh, that? Yeah, to provide yeah. the solutions because, mm. uh, like mm. you made mention of uh, exercising mm. and also mm. you, Tenel, mm. are going mm -hmm. to do some gym and all of mm -hmm. that. that. That's very, very good. Mm -hmm. But these are people who are not, they, they, do, not, they do not have what it takes. They don't, they don't have enough money. They are just mm -hmm. barely struggling to survive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? By the time they finish paying all their bills, so mm -hmm. the little, they even want to send it back to Africa mm -hmm. to support yes. families. So, mm -hmm. so yes. and now you are telling the person to go and gym? <laughs> <laughs> no. A 
yeah, so, yeah, so, so, so I think, yes, I think, because Phil also did mention that, which is good. I'm mm-hmm. not against Jimmy, mm-hmm. but what I'm trying to say is that how can they no. come yeah. out, bring out this money from the little that they are mm-hmm. earning, and then begin True. to, you know? Yes. So is it, uh, the government, mm-hmm. are they ready to put some 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 uh, g g uh, this and um, which is affordable for the masses so mm. that people can go there free you yeah, know yeah. but there train. are also different solutions you know you know what i do because i'm uh, very stingy i don't like to pay for gym <laughs> but, I, <laughs> but i do like to exercise but yeah. i don't want to pay for it yeah. so for instance i travel a lot by car but okay. then i park my car a little further yeah. and then i have to walk more yeah and that sure. is my gym for the day <laughs> <laughs> and it cost me nothing so yes, there are small small uh, t- Tips yeah. and tricks that maybe we can uh, teach the yeah. people yeah. so that they, it doesn't cost them lots of money or yeah. any money at mm-hmm. all, okay. but try and change maybe their lifestyle a yes. little bit so that it will accommodate them, that mm-hmm. they don't have to uh, change too much, but to get as much as with a little effort yeah. to change to get the best results out of their own situation. Wow, yeah. that's, that's so beautiful. Yeah, there's, you want to add yeah to there's two things. So one hand, we are looking also for these smart solutions because I think people also have already a lot of knowledge themselves so we can learn from each other also mm-hmm. by infor- asking questions to the community yeah on the other hand yeah. our research is informing the municipality they commissioned us to do this research mm-hmm. so based on that they can also uh, it helps them to set up interventions and maybe if they know well there is a need for exercise yeah. but we don't have money maybe they can also yeah contribute to that and in, in setting up how their their interventions Wow. But also how the community can help each other. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, I think I that think. is very, very, yeah. very, very important. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I come to you again, um, Tenny. Mm. Yes. <laughs> you you made mention about uh, having a uh, eating a uh, protein, proteinous mm-hmm. foods, and all of that sort. Mm-hmm. Okay, would you please look into the camera and uh, let us tell mm-hmm. us tell us some of the ways we are eating mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. are not healthy. Please, mm. any one of you can do that, but not only the nail. What are the ways mm. that we are eating that are making us not, uh, not to be healthy? And what mm. are the things we're supposed to eat to promote uh, a successful 100 mm. days mm-hmm. around pregnancy? <laughs> Is that a good one? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, for me, myself, I'm, I'm Surinamese, and I know what my mother cooks and what I'm used to eat. It has a lot of, a lot of carbs and a lot of proteins, for example. She makes bami or nasi, and there's no vegetables. <laughs> it's just rice with a lot of salt and a lot of herbs and yeah. a lot of meat. And I think that goes for many more African diaspora that there's a lot of carbs, a lot of rice, a lot of potatoes maybe, and very little vegetables. So I think that that's what the culture gives you and that's what you have to cook and that's what we like, that's what I like. Yeah, it's true. (laughs) And the sweets, I think we have a lot of Surinamese cake and I think also maybe the difference in the climate that you have. I think when you're in Suriname or maybe in Africa, you you just go out and you you take a walk, you sweat a lot. Yes. Maybe you do some more physical exercise in your work, your your everyday work. And when you're in Holland, you mainly go to your office and you stay inside and you don't sweat that much or you're not that that Mm -hmm. active anymore. So I think that plays an important role. And also just the unbalanced diet, as I just mentioned, a lot of a lot of carbs. There's not always vegetables in the dishes. Yeah. So that's what mm-hmm. I, from my experience mm-hmm. and from things that I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to contribute also yes. to that. I totally agree yeah. with what uh, you're said. saying. Yeah. And uh, a part of also the way that we live, the diaspora here in uh, Holland at least, yes. we do eat a little late. Yes. And that really doesn't contribute. Yes. And um, lots of oil use. Because we like some good taste, you know, we like we, li- we like soul food, and so food has good, a different yeah. a different taste, a different. If I think of food, it and makes so me food happy. Is so good. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't eat to be full. I eat to be happy. So that's part of my culture. I really yeah. love food. Uh, yes. So I need to compensate it by doing something else so that I can eat whatever I want to eat. Okay. You know, if I have some okra sauce, yeah. sauce I yes. need to do it with some palm oil. I don't want to do it with olive oil or you know i don't want to be that healthy food that doesn't (laughs) taste good i want everything to taste rich and good you know because that gives me a good feeling yeah (laughs) so i think that's something that we must a little bit adjust our culture to make it 
not only taste good, the soul yeah. food, yes. and feel good, but also to be healthy. healthy so we have yes. to give it a different meaning. That's what I'm <laughs> okay, thinking. Okay, let yes. me yes. just catch you up yes. there before you come <laughs> in. I was saying to somebody, I was saying to a young man, um, uh, uh, during my preaching today, so I don't know how I digressed, and I was <laughs> I was saying something about food, okay? So I said um, to the Gideons in our community, uh, in, our, in, our, in our ministry, I said, how about eating kinky, yes. the kinky, instead of eating it with fried uh, fried fish yes. and, and, and uh, the fresh tomatoes Yo, you have yes, uh, blended, like why, why don't we eat it with spinach? They told me, what? <laughs> <laughs> then you're getting the soul you know, out of the food. <laughs> you know, they said, no, it doesn't taste good. So, yeah. so, so, I think the point you just made is so yes. relevant. We love mm. soul food. And yes. then we are not ready to change. Not yet. Because you know, it's we are not ready to add some of the things that can make this food healthy mm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, may I ask you, is it so uh, weird to eat kinky with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with salad? Well, I think it's weird because yes. I, if I'm eating kenke, I want the full taste of kenke with the fish and the shrimps and everything that goes along with it. Yeah. Because that has not only, it's not only the taste when I'm eating kenke, I feel home. It brings me home when I'm eating something like kenke. Yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah. want to mix it with strange European things like salad. No, no, yeah. no, no. Or no, no, no. the spinach, you know, the green no. vegetables. It doesn't fit, you know. Oh, but yeah. but but we can't you know the Dutch people they have something they call the schrijf van five. Mm. They have some organized thing. We can make it some kind of combination. How to keep our soul food but adjust it a little bit with the best things that we are learning here in Holland. Okay. So how to add some vegetables. Okay. Maybe yes. not at the same time, but maybe as uh, as uh, uh, um uh, uh, the next uh, meal the next or how to, not to eat all the time, some heavy soul food, yeah. but maybe only once a day, or if today you eat some heavy soul food, and the next day you have, they call it like a balanced day with more salad and more greens. It's just a thing, things that I'm thinking about. There are more mm. possibilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So you have yeah. something to add to this? Um, yeah, the, the meaning of food is very important, because if we just tell people, hey, change your lifestyle, we're asking people to change also the meaning of what they're eating and, and how they eat it. So mm. that's also what we are very curious for. So what does it mean, the food that we consume maybe during pregnancy and mm. for, the, for the children? What, yes. what does it mean to people? That yes. is something we really want to find out. And <coughs> also it's very difficult to give recommendations because there are so many, uh, so many mixed messages in the media. The media is telling us this one day mm -hmm. and the next day they will tell us something completely different. So yeah. it's very hard for people to know what to do then. And um, yeah, and then we have the Schijf van Vijf for people and that is very what Dutch. Is that? What is that, Schijf van Vijf? Can you explain it <laughs> to those who are listening to us? Yes, what yeah, is it? That is uh, yeah, we, that you have to eat a little bit from different types of food. You have to eat something, yeah. uh, some proteins, you have to eat some vegetables, you have yeah. to eat some, some of this. So, so from f five different types of food. Oh, okay. And it's very much yeah. based on, oh, on, a, nice. on yeah. a Dutch type of, of eating. Yeah, so, so maybe we can make a schijf on five based, yeah. Yeah. based on the African food or uh, mm. African products. Yeah. Because they have, the Dutch have the schijf on five with like um, vegetables and bread and... Bread and <laughs> But for me, if I'm eating bread, cheese. <laughs> bread is not a meal. Cheese. Bread is just an in between. It's not. A, it's not a real meal. So I can't eat bread and salad and go to bed. Then I'm feeling hungry the whole night. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I need some heavy food, and I feel yes, I've eaten well. You know, then I feel good. So we need to find uh, some food that works for us, the African diaspora, and still is healthy. Yes. Okay. Because lots of our food is very healthy, but yeah. also sometimes about how we prepare it and when we eat it and mm -hmm. how much we eat of it. Because, for, for instance, if I'm eating rice with vegetables yeah. and some nice sauce, I'll eat lots of rice and little vegetables and lots of nice sauce. Yeah, okay. But maybe I have to change the, the amount, the quantity. Of the food. Mm. Yes. And take more of the sauce, is that what you mean? For example, <laughs> or, or take, more, green, take yeah. more of the green. Yeah. Yes, and take less more. rice or, yes. Try, try to change a little bit. I think this whole thing is going to bother to somebody, you know, changing your your mindset. Mm. Yes. And, you know, knowing that mm. I don't know, just eat those things that make me happy. 
the, the soul foods, mm -hmm. but let me eat to be healthy. Yes. Which is difficult. Very difficult because first but you have I to know what something has to be done. Yeah. No matter how difficult it is, if you want to have a healthy yeah. child when yeah. you are pregnant, then you have to do it the way the, the doctors are recommending that you do, or the dietitians. Yes, and it, it also yeah, it helps also if you have a different meaning of the food. If you know, for example, when I was pregnant of my child, yeah. um, I, I heard somewhere, if you eat really fat fish, it's very healthy, and it increases the brain, the development of the brain of your child. Well, I don't really like fat fish, but I really eat lots of it. Okay. But I thought, I want an intelligent child, but so I will eat it. Yeah, okay. So well, if you if you are devoted, if you know... But is that true? Yes, that's what it's I heard. the recommendations. Yeah, yeah. Oh. because mm. if you know what is going to, what it mm. means, if you know what, what, what kind of result mm. it will have, yeah. well, then I will go through, so I will struggle and fight mm. to do it, yes. even if I don't like the taste, yeah. but I will like the results. Yeah. Then it's worth, take, the it's yeah. worth doing it. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. exactly. Okay, that's just yeah. one tip you've just given to us. There. Yes. You know, eating a fat fish. Yes. So what, what, what other things can healthy or can pregnant women eat within these 1,000 days? There is not just one thing. And because and, we, are, we are not dietitians or nutrition experts, so I'm very careful in, in saying those things. Okay. And I think there is uh, something, uh, some advice for everybody. Okay. And of course, too much of anything is, is it's, it's never bad. good. Mm -hmm. um, and a starting point is to be aware of, of what you eat and also to get the right information. And maybe uh, yeah, pregnant women just don't really know what is healthy or they're struggling with that. Mm -hmm. So we're also curious about their questions. If, if they know, if they have ideas about what is healthy or maybe they want to have more information. Yes. Where do they look yes. for information? Do they go to a doctor? Do they ask their uh, family mm -hmm. or their parents? So we really want to figure out how women at this moment, how they deal with that. Mm -hmm. yes. And then we can really look for what is what is needed for them. Yeah. So that's it's also mm. a little bit um, mm. about culture mm. because, well, I know in, in our culture, in the uh, diaspora, yeah. when, you are, when you are wanting a child, yeah. you don't go around and tell people, well, I'm thinking of getting mm. pregnant. Yes, it's true. You just ask for God, you get pregnant, mm. and you thank God. Ah, yes, so, and sometimes they keep their mouth shut. They yeah, don't most of the times know. you don't let anybody know yes, you. this is what they, you're planning. Until the belly, until the belly mm. is... Out. really out yes and then you can't hide it anymore yeah. and that's the moment you come out but actually the key is before when you're having the plans to be pregnant to get information to know to prepare yourself to being getting pregnant like taking folic acid mm -hmm. and that yeah. type of things mm -hmm. but nobody mm -hmm. can advise you to take folic acid yeah. because it's good for your child because nobody knows you're planning <laughs> to get pregnant so it's also a bit of mind mindset like you were saying mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. But that's that's one example, the yeah. folic acid, acid, because it's recommended to take before even getting pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now you've given yeah. us two tips now. So the first one was a fat fish. You see, yeah. you're progressing. <laughs> so the first one was a fat fish, yeah. and now the second one now is the folic acid. Yeah. So if you're out there listening and you are a, 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 a woman expecting a pregnancy or we're expecting to be pregnant, we are discussing on 1,000 days before and after pregnancy. Yes. That's what we are discussing. Mm. And these are experts here who have researched on this topic and uh, they want to bring their uh, findings out. Is that? Okay. So mm. what, what more do you think we have to learn through this, uh, your research? What more? Well, yes. we are really getting started. So very soon, um, <laughs> actually, yeah, through this, we can also announce that we will be doing uh, some research and going around asking people to talk to us about oh, this topic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we want to also learn from the people yes. and, and share also their knowledge that they have, uh, also the skills, some, some things that they already do, mm -hmm. and that might be useful for yeah. us to know. So, you know, that was yeah. uh, those who also mm -hmm. want to ask questions regarding to mm -hmm. this issue, mm -hmm. how would they get to you guys? How do they get to you? Right. Yeah, That's tell good. us. That is good. Um, I think it's good if we give our email address that and, okay. and telephone number. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. do it then. Yeah. Feel free. We start with mm -hmm. Tenille. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Should I give my female? Or? Yeah. yeah, I'll give my female, but I think it's a bit long. It's uh, T dot E dot Codfried. That's C O D F R I E D. 
at student at fib.nl. <laughs> I think it's easier if you just contact Leah. Yeah. Because mm. she's the project leader. So okay. I think it's easier if you just Shall have I one you? contact. Yeah. Yes. Just, to contact. just tell us your... Uh, or Phil, you want to say something? Well, what, yeah. I, or can I, or what I can mm -hmm. say also, if you are interested or you do have questions and it's mm -hmm. too complicated about this email and everything, yeah. you can just... Try and find me by Facebook. Yes. Just send mm -hmm. me a message on my Facebook and I'll contact you and then we can talk more about it. Phil, tell yeah. them please mm -hmm. your Facebook name. Because they just, just come up, just are looking. And then, yeah. Is that no. the woman I saw on Majesty yeah. TV, Anna? Yeah, it's just, it's just Phyllis Doll, Facebook. Phyllis, when yes. you look me up Facebook, Phyllis Doll, or you see my picture, you just add me, I will befriend you, whatever, you can ask any questions that you it's have and so we'll talk more too. about it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So... Yes. The same for me. You can also find me through Facebook, and is my I'm easy to find Leah van der Ham, and also uh, I can give you my phone number from the university. Yes. That is uh, two. Oh, sorry. Mm. Um, zero it starts two. with a zero, of course. Yeah. Zero two zero uh, five nine eight five four three one. I repeat. Repeat it, please. Yeah. Zero twenty mm -hmm. five nine. Eight five four three one. And that is the easiest way. And yes. I think my email address will be a little bit complicated. Okay. I can share it, but <laughs> let's try. Yeah. Uh, a dot j dot van der dot ham at vu punt nl dot nl. Dot vu dot nl. Okay, a dot j dot van der dot ham yes. at vu dot nl that's it oh, perfect wow. thank so, you thank you so yeah. much so you can always look up mm. for uh, uh phil mm. or look up for uh leah van der ham or um Tanil. so you can also find me on facebook <laughs> yeah. but you have to know how to spell my name <laughs> please the, 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 the spelling for her name is t-e-n-t-e-n-y-l-l -L. yes and phil is uh phyllis is P H Y L L I S because it's very important that you know how it's being spelled, otherwise, you will go and be looking for Phyllis and then you think it's F. It's P H Y L L I S. Yes, Phyllis Doll, D O L. D O L L. D O L L. Yes, and uh, um, Leah is uh, L I A mm -hmm. Vanda Ham. I believe you eat ham. Yes, <laughs> definitely. So <laughs> that's way to remember it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. what message, ladies, before we sign off? What message are we leaving behind to those who have watched us today? Uh, for me, the message would be that it's really important to hear the voice of migrant women about what they think and what they do uh, about pre uh, around pregnancy and what they consider a healthy lifestyle and what they need also to have a healthier lifestyle if they want to, and if they think they want to do that. Of course, yeah. who so wouldn't to really, want to? Yes. To share their voice and to listen to their voice. I think that's the most important message for us. Thank yeah. you so much. And maybe they, you yes. have a yes. different message? Well, I would say, I know you all want the best for your child, mm. so if you want the best possible child that you can have, yes. contact me and we'll work it through. Yes, thank mm. you so much. <laughs> thank you, Phil. Antonia? I'm sharing their opinion. <laughs> so we really want your input. We really want to know what you're already doing, what you need, what information you're looking for. So we really want your input into this project so we can do something with that information. So please contact us. Please do, please do, please do, because this is very, very necessary for every woman who is out there who wants to be pregnant or who is already pregnant and you don't know what to do with your body. We've heard it now that it's not just very, very good to just sit and just be eating and mm. eating and eating. There are certain things you need to do for you to have a very uh, healthy child. And there are also things you need to do to be able to, you know, bring forth your baby very, very, uh, you know, in a very safe environment, is it? Mm. Yeah. So please, those things are very mm. necessary because you don't take this message or take it out of context. Yeah. Your life is very crucial, very important. You can't have mm. a duplicated life. So please, now you are alive, value the information and do everything to contact our professionals who are ready to let us 
know how to have a healthy lifestyle. Yes. I would like to uh, say one more thing. When mm -hmm. we are talking about um, a healthy child, not yeah. only uh, physically, but also mentally. Mentally. Mm. A more intelligent child, yes. a more active child, really the best child that you can have. So mm. it, is, it is within these 1,000 days that these things are formed. Mm. Yes. It's very necessary. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, ladies, thank for you being here. Thank you so much for thank having you. us here. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you Reverend. We'll have more, more, yeah. more. Thank you. Thank you so much. So stay blessed, and we are bringing to you another important discussion. Thank you so much, and make contact with us on 023-374-160 on your popular station, Majesty TV. Bye.